Hi folks, welcome back to Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. We are in the midst of our second class trial as we try to... This is only the second one? Yeah. Oh boy. No, this game's long. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I say that with a lot of affection. It's the second class trial and we're trying to solve the case of who killed Mahiru. Um, and also, I guess, who killed Sato and also who killed the other Kazuryu. There's a lot going on. Yes. Um, we're solving three murders at once. Yeah, here. it's a triple murder, but across time and space. Apparently. Um, so thus far during the class trial, we've been unpacking the Twilight Syndrome murder case um, or cases as the case may be. And now we are trying to talk about Sparkling Justice, who is a serial killer who kills criminals and Sonia is super into them. That's it. That's my catch up. <laughs> yep. And oh, well, the reason why we're about to talk about Sparkling Justice is because Sonia said that the mask that was found at the scene of the crime is apparently worn by Sparkling Justice to hide their identity. Yeah, where we currently um, stand is there's a lot of motive evidence pointing to uh, towards Fuyuhiko. There's a lot of physical evidence pointing towards Sionji. Yes. Um and 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 Sonya's also here. <laughs> yeah, I I've got my sus eyes on Sonya though, but maybe that's the game trying to make me do that. Again, that uh, that's my current active theory, but I recognize that that could be a red herring, but I don't know. I guess we're I guess about we'll to see. get into yeah. Sparkling Justice right now. Let's that see. That mask says it all. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island. Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Why you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Whoa, holy shit. Don't Strong blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? <laughs> Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn. It's all in your head. Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer. It's true that Yoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel we're being directed by someone yeah well the gummy candy that's in there is the wrong gummy candy mm -hmm. it's not the one that she likes mm -hmm. which means that maybe it was planted there to like draw attention to her because i but mean we do know we she do know... ran away from the beach yeah that's what i'm saying she yeah. was there mm -hmm. she was definitely there but now i'm thinking that maybe she was there ran out and then maybe the killer planted the candy there to make it like, possible yeah uh, the wrapper um to be like she was here, so let me add another piece of evidence to point towards her. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, we're going. Let's do this thing. Make your argument. What we got? Footprints, Footprints on the beach, trash can, yellow gu yellow gummy, I think is probably gummy, gummy bag. bag. We'll see. Hmm, all of these are really... I shall hmm. render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Kind of want to hear what they say. Yoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru. <laughs> okay. Jeez. I'm telling you, it's a trap. There's no doubt. Damn it. <laughs> you went to the beach house, right? I do know she was at the beach house. Yeah, that is true. Oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. Um, I think you waited that's for your chance to kill Mahiru. We need to shoot. Probably, but we yeah. need to figure out if it's the gummy the bag house. or the or yellow, yellow gummy. gummy. The yeah. yeah. You were facing the road, I'm going to let them finish talking. By the body. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the gummy. So you were yeah. forced to Fuck. flee from the beachside entrance. Okay. There's six minutes. And that's how you left your footprints. <laughs> okay. I don't think footprints is the thing. Um, it looks like everyone doubts Yoko. Is that really okay? Um, I shall oh, read shit. Your <laughs> Hold on a second. It's okay. You didn't hit anything. I meant anything. to do this. Um, uh, I uh, feel like it's probably gummy bag, right? Because the the phrase is dropped the gummy, meaning the yellow gummy. Yeah, that's what they saw. They found in the closet yeah. was the yellow gummy. So the contradiction is that the the gummies that Hyoka has wouldn't include the yellow gummy. Right. Uh, strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. So yeah, that I think I shoot the gum. I shoot that with gummy bag. Yeah, that that makes sense to me. Yeah. Now sometimes the logic in this game Hyoka doesn't, is the but who killed to me that makes sense. <laughs> There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? I'm gonna have to it's gonna be the next one. You also or... hiding in the so that's there. when you dropped the gummy. No, that's yeah. Not yeah. Oh, I like waited with bated breath I know, there me for too. a second. I was like I don't trust. <laughs> About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? 
The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. Now stop that, Come and also now. gummies You're are delicious. Too, yeah. you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. Exactly. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? The, the gummy at the crime scene was yellow, so it obviously looked like it was lemon flavored. Huh? That gummy is yellow? Then it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! What? Hmm. That's right. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Then we can't assume Hiyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! Uh, damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge. I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on, you little bitch. You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid. I'm not done backing you into a corner yet. Oh my gosh, everybody. Well, like, she was seen running from the scene of the crime. That is true. And her footprints are the footprints only ones on the there. Beach, yellow iron bar. Okay. Uh, Mikan's autopsy report. Footprints on the beach. Yellow gummy iron barred window. Okay. The autopsy We're not report done with is Yoko that she yet. died in one hit. Yes. Yep. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. Um, that You're might... talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? Be the thing, though. It's true. That's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. Wait, what, what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? mean Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's locked the door um, to the road. Yeah. Thanks to her. Okay, we it may be. I think it's autopsy re report against last bit of strength. Uh, yeah, wrong. I think so because she yeah. got hit and then fell against. I yeah, because the there were drag marks. During my morning walk. Yeah, but everybody thought that that was Mahiru dragging herself towards the door. Right, but we know it wasn't because the, she went the door down. was was barred because. The, the the body was dragged to the door. Which means it was barred deliberately. Yes. That wasn't a mistake. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I gotta figure out what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, I got yeah, we know. We're not we got done you. With Hyoko okay. yet. There's still a huge You're talking about the footprints near the beach. It's true, okay. that's an important piece and we can thank Mahiru. What does that away? mean? Yeah, there's there was some noise. Mahiru in front of it. used her yeah. last ounce uh, of strength uh, and get it. Nice. There we go. No, Ooh. that's wrong. Not panic. Whew. Yeah. Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death? According to my really autopsy, hard. yes, mm -hmm. there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! It, 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 uh, you're yelling that to the ultimate nurse. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe she knows how to do her job. Fuyohiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. Just don't threaten people, okay? I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. S someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. Mm -hmm. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer after all. You're really honing in on Hyoko now, huh? S seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Hyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. We saw her run out. She wasn't covered in blood. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking of Sonia putting that fucking wetsuit on. Just covering up her whole body. Anyway. It's possible. Yeah. It's, it, huh? yeah, it's possible. Yeah. But when I saw her, she was... Not bloody. She was clean. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! You also know she doesn't know how to change her clothes. Yes. So, like, she couldn't have had, yeah. Yeah, she, it couldn't have been her. Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! Ooh. <laughs> uh, we oh. haven't decided that yet! Which which one is this? Is this the one where I this have to- This is the like... sword one. Fuck. I don't remember <laughs> how to do this one. It's okay. 
Why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! Maybe you conspired with the actual killer? How do I do this again? Rebuttal showdown! Uh, footprints, footprints, metal bat, shower room, iron barred window. Uh, I guess if Mahiru like... didn't block the door, then Hiyoko oh, yeah. did it's it. Just this. Ah, ah, ah. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her butt. Hiyoko is the only killer <laughs> I can think of. Why can't I get this one? I don't okay. know. That was weird. Hiyoko stubbornly insisting that Hiyoko is the killer. I think just you needed to get that one, so we just have to do it again. Oh, okay. If Mahiru didn't yeah. block the door, then Hiyoko okay. did it. She okay. killed okay. Mahiru and blocked the door with her butt. Hiyoko is the okay. only killer I could think of. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm advancing. Okay, if that's Hiyoko good. If Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. Right. So what, dumbass? There's a shower uh, room inside the beach. After oh, she wait, moved wait, the body, wait. That's, that's what it is. It's going to be a shower room. Because you can't change that there. That oh, fuck. Was at the that's beach. the one can I need to hit. Did you get all that, you bastard? No, 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 no. Shit. So we have to wait to slash some of them because we we need to figure out which one we need to hit. Yeah. yeah. Um, hasn't there really listened to your at the beach house? You tell them, uh, okay. Yes. So what, dumbass? Okay. There's a shower room inside the beach. After she moved the body, she just washed it. The fact that Hyoko oh, wait, was at the fuck, beach I don't remember can how be to proven do that. by the fuck. Did you get all that, you bastard? The big slash anymore. I, I don't know. Shit. I'm sorry. I never knew. Ah, uh, this is just my truth bullets. Fuck. How to do the big how slash. How do I do the big slash? Is it, is it, how do you present normally? Uh, normally it's Y. Then it's so probably I'll, Y. I'll, I'll, try, I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a shower room inside the, after she moved the body, okay. she just washed it off in the shower. Yeah, wow. that's it. Okay, Allow there we go. Thank through. you. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't try Y, I tried every other button. Look, I made a Waluigi noise for a reason like that. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess a warrior noise. Yeah. Because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Exactly. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. She can't put. She can't do her own clothes. Are you saying I did something that perverted? Yoko took her clothes off before committing the murder. No, that should be impossible. Uh, she can't get dressed by herself. Yeah. Yep. I see. Oh. Listen to me, Fuyuko. <laughs> Yoko mentioned this before. by myself yeah which means hyoko can't change by herself it's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes what oh yeah she couldn't even tie her sash on her own that's why she couldn't take a bath and smelled bad i i didn't smell and it only smelled a little oh wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place mm -hmm. yes if you broke the rules I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me. <laughs> okay. okay. If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiro's body. Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Well, well, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. That is all very true. It's a valid point. Cause if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Yeah, good point. Didn't I tell you that was cause I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? Can you yeah. corroborate that? Nadai, Coach? we need to hear I you. Can attest to that. Okay. okay. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed down. Doubt me of all people. You got some nerve. All right. I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That's an intense threat. Wow, that is <laughs> that is something. That I don't know how I feel about that. Pretty cool. <laughs> of course, okay. Yuki is gonna be into it. All yeah. right. <laughs> the hell it does. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? It's okay that I'm not the killer. Can you tell us what you were doing in there? Yeah, seems like it. See, I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. 
There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? Because you gave us absolutely no evidence to support a yeah, counter theory. You were being uh, like... Because you're useless. You're useless <laughs> like... and suspicious and... You could have just contributed. Listen, I know that you're a child. I know that you are a spoiled child. Like I know you were just a child that has been forced into this I know. killing game position and have have been, I don't know, groomed and brought up in a place of privilege. I'm assuming. We, we yeah, we don't really. Yeah, her, we don't so know, I don't her, know whole deal. what her deal. But is it, it at does all. seem like there's look to be famous at what she's famous at at her age. Even like, that. Yeah. yeah. So, Totally, but like, if at any point she was like, "No, I I didn't kill her because here's what I was doing there." Right. But she doesn't do that. To, like, she has not ever once presented a fact in a trial. Correct. Which just, I, admittedly, this is only the second trial, but it's like she Yoko. she has actively not like been helpful at all. I know. Up until this point, I mean, I don't even think she's really been helpful. No. Except and not yet. Just denying that she has done anything and waiting for us to prove it. Yeah. So it's just like I just want. She's not likable. No. <laughs> at she's all. one of those characters where it's like I just I want something more from her. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not like, I don't know, I just want something more from her. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe if we hung out with her and did her free time events, like maybe we'd get to know her a little better, um, and understand. But it's I don't know. I don't. I don't, <sighs> oh, I don't, I don't like, like her. her. Yeah. I'm, but watch when she dies later. I'm going to feel things whenever that happens. If she dies, <laughs> if she doesn't make it through this, I'm going to, I'm probably going to be eating my words and feeling really sad, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You guys are stupid, 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 stupid. Hyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig barf. I hope you get a hangnail and die. You're just not likable at all. I just want you to. I'm sorry for being pig barf. I just, oh, God, I just, I just want a little God. more. Yoko, yeah, that's all. Please. It's just more importantly, Fihiko's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Yeah. Getting so worked up and accusing Hyoko of being suspicious. I mean, she was suspicious. True. But, but he was really pushing it. Yeah. Could it be? Does he actually have something else in mind? Hey, Hiyoko. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Yeah, that would be great. Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap. Yeah, I got that already. So, can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Honestly, yeah, that's the point of this. Yeah. Like... Please, tell Fine. Us. You want me to talk, huh? Yes! Um, yes, that's correct. Earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... Yeah. <laughs> she never talked to me at all! Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Damn it! So that was a lie? Yeah. Because I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? Isn't there some weirdness with the invitation? Because, uh, is it Mahiru had uh, a thing on her person, the note saying to change the meeting time from, that was written to supposedly by Hiyoko. Yes. To get her to go to the beach house earlier. Yes. Okay. All right. Just... I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. Okay. You always have to say something snide. Yeah, that's exactly how I just felt. Mm -hmm. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. Oh, she got a letter too. Mm -hmm. A letter? Yeah, this one. Same handwriting. Oh... I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put it in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place? I'm like reading it like I'm reading it in Hyoko's voice, reading it out loud. Yes, I, I followed. I followed. should probably sound like my hero's voice. Um, I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. Uh, this time, uh, the time is still the same at 2 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. 
let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other uh, for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. It's the same letter, but it's a different, but different time. times. Yep. Oh, that's a new truth bullet mm -hmm. that we got in the trial. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. Huh. The letter that Hyoko had. Does it clearly contradict other evidence? Yes, the other letter. Yeah, where is it? Um. The letter on Mahiru. Yep, this yeah, this is one. This is what we want. I can prove it with this. Yes. This letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? About what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the place and time? Mm hmm. I want to come. We can skip through this. 2:30 2 <laughs> is the important letter part. said to meet at 2:30 p.m., but in Hyoko's letter, oh, we discussed earlier. It's, it's okay, gonna say two. I want you to come to the beach house in the second island. The time is still the same. It's still the same at 2 p.m. Whoa! Okay. The meeting times are off. Mm -hmm. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. Right. It's clearly the letters were lit written by a different person. It would be yep. plausible if yeah. one of them said it. But for both letters to say the same thing? Yeah. Yoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? Look at the handwriting. They're the same. It's safe to say that the letter was forged by the killer, but which letter did the killer forge? Both! Uh, uh, both letters. Yeah. Yep. I see. The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters, confirmed! Just as I assumed, yeah. mm -hmm. the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches too. Thank you, coach. At this yeah. Part, I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. That's just so short-sighted. Why would you write the same exact letter with the same exact wording? Like, uh, they're gonna, they were gonna, like, we were gonna find it. Yeah, like, we we're gonna find out. Like, if you know, it, it's after, definitely short-sighted. Uh, although it, it, it clearly accomplished the goal so far as well. We don't, we don't know why they wanted Sionji there or what, whatever. But yeah, like, that's that's weird. It ended me. with Mahiru being killed. So. Yeah. God. I guess the question is, does it matter that it's caught afterwards? Does that help us find out who did it? Well, that's what, oh, that's we'll good, see. Yeah. I don't know. That's sort this of what part, I mean. Yeah. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part, let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The, the killer forged both of those letters. But yeah, if they had written... so, they were Sorry. able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. Exactly, exactly like a netherworld like puppeteer Gundam. Uh, I was just going to say, yeah, it seems like if they had written in two different handwritings and or used different wording, it, at minimum, it would have been slightly more or less obvious. Yeah, yeah, maybe we wouldn't have been able to catch that as clearly or yep. at all. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so they completely tricked me. And then... My hero's killer! <laughs> How mean! Give me back my hero! Really? This is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I, I wonder why, Naki's <laughs> It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Oh, it seems like they had it well in hand, Boy. buddy. <laughs> Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. We can just lightly punch him to death later. <laughs> <laughs> so based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep. Really? Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. Wait, what? <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine. Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? We did unlock a drugstore that we haven't talked about even once that so far. That is true. So that is true. I haven't seen any evidence of 
any sort of like knockout gas or mm -hmm. something like in our truth bullets. That is true. Very least. I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh boy. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I I saw my hero's body. What the fuck? And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. It was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... So you did... Okay, so this is either a lie, and she saw Mahiro get killed, or... What? She actually got, like, drugged and dragged into the closet? I guess as part of the plan to try and frame her? Yeah, I mean, in that case, she was there, which is hard to account for otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> The killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. It's just weird we don't have any evidence of, like, the sleeping thing. I don't know. That's So weird. their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Mm. Which means that the actual killer did get out through the window. Hardcore parkour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. That's horrible. I didn't do anything wrong. And I was framed by Mahiro's killer. <laughs> big, big, big cry there. Mm -hmm. Hyoko, please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. This'll never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. Unfortunately, that is a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, the, but it also, we have to doubt in equal parts, too, because we have to convict somebody here. It's definitely so, true, but if but you... The, the problem is, if you take every piece of, of testimony and stuff and you doubt all of it, then you're never going to find that's true. The, the truth. So yeah, you have to just I parse what's real. Yeah, Nagito technically is correct here. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Now he is no, no longer now, correct. All right. Two well, hopes last clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Okay. That's a little too far. Seriously, which side are you on? Both! He's made it very clear yeah, he he's has on been, both sides. He's pretty explicit about this one, buddy. He will play both sides. I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. Which can be applied to literally anything, <laughs> so. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, like, what does... Does Nagito perceive there to be a true enemy here at all? Because, like, that was the whole point of the first game, was, like, it was, like, remember who the real enemy is, like, Hunger Games style, like... And... I just don't Unclear, know. Unclear, yeah. although at least from what he's been saying, I don't think the the idea of an enemy factors anywhere into it's his, his worldview. Yeah. yeah, there's there is no enemy because that would mean there's a black and white answer. Um and that's sort of his whole shtick is yeah, that and the, he's in between. Whatever put us into the situation only benefits everyone because it sets up for a position where hope and despair can war. So right. they're not they're not bad because they are allowing hope to shine. Right. They've created yeah. a situation where that can happen. And the killer's not bad because they're showing their hope. And the people fighting the killer aren't bad because they're showing their hope. Right. So everyone's good. Weird. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird. Like, 
that's just a, a wild take to the, I guess, the concept from the first game. Yes, you know, very much so. Um, fascinating. I just, I this is gonna come to such a head at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh boy. Let's stop believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. I love when she gets her arm out of the ropes because it demonstrates that she could leave at any she time. <laughs> She's just playing for the bit. I know. Monami, you're part of the problem. I know. <laughs> hey. What do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not gonna let you have the outcome you want. <sighs> <laughs> He's getting bored. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Be sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. The bitter truth. That may be true, but... Even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Yeah, otherwise you all die. Yeah. So Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who among us is Mahiru's true killer... Among us. Sorry. <laughs> there's no way we'll <laughs> that's, survive! That's the joke does, you just say among I us. I know! <laughs> it's such a non-joke, but also among <laughs> us. <laughs> God. God damn it. Oh, what are we doing now? What's happening? Intermission. What? It's not. It's just an. I don't know why they have intermission. It's it's so they oh. can have their little. Well now. <sighs> oh. Are you ready? Let's do this. Yeah. Well then, now that the class trial has reached its climax. This is the climax of it. I would like to present the answer right here, right now. Hey. Huh? You're gonna spoil who the killer is? <laughs> Oh, uh, if I reveal the answer before everyone's ready, they'll all be shocked. They'll all feel despair. Y you can't. That's seriously a big no-no. But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Oh, who's the club president? So, without further ado, the answer is... Yeah, you can! Everyone, please close your eyes and cover your ears! Correct! Correct. You say Nanu in German when you're surprised! Oh. What? Okay. Hmm? Um... Huh? I don't know what you're talking about, but somehow it feels wrong to me. That's it! Well, the end of the do, intermission! Do those relate to anything to the case? Do they? That was... Hmm... It's like the it's like the Monokuma theater things. It's like maybe in some cases, but like it's not information that you wouldn't get elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. Oh. I'm Monami, and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. All oh, right, this happened too. To think too. that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Koizumi is in this room. So <laughs> much she reads her lines. I know it's <laughs> like it's so, so weird. It's such a weird choice. I know. I, I mean, it works because it's it's off-putting. Yeah, and it's supposed to be like an early 1990s shoujo anime dub. Yeah. I get it. I understand what I they're going what they're for. Doing. Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! That's There's so no impossible! Way I can't believe that! Oh, I can't do anything. How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone, do your best. Don't lose to yourselves, and don't forget to save regularly. We're good. <laughs> All right. We're fine. The, fucking, the music in the background, too. I know. Like, it's like... Well, now <laughs> that we've decided to play Hyoko, now what? <laughs> so if the killer was yeah. luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Mm -hmm, Do you mean mm -hmm. the letter? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. It oh. was probably the gummy. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up... Was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, 
She would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? Which means the killer was still in the beach house. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That Before is exactly bailing. what it means. Yeah. The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's true. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Then, does that mean the killer came back? Unless they went up on the roof and went back in? Hmm. Yeah. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. Okay. <laughs> I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? A new... Uh, is this going to be the snowboarding? It might be snowboarding time! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> if so, we prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. What? It's called the logic dive. Is that... Okay. During the logic dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. What? Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. <laughs> is this really that I gotta like, like, like? Yes, we're we're doing it. Uh, I would say a half pipe shimmy is the best yes. way to describe yeah. what we're how, doing. I don't know how to describe that. Move. Back and forth on the couch. Yeah. You can move sideways with the left stick and accelerate with the RB button. Okay. Press the LB button to break and the RB button to jump. Wait, there's two <laughs> yes, buttons there to, are, uh, to yes. accelerate and jump? Why? Just try stuff on the right oh, side. Surely it'll be fine. Oh, wait, no, I'm making it. It's on auto. It's on auto. There okay, you go. There we go. So make sure you're familiar with those controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall <laughs> into a gap or bump into walls. What? Also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be branching questions in the course. What? The answers split into different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Right in the moment, I gotta pick? Branching questions will appear several times in one course, so be careful. I highly recommend that you make good use of the break. That's my meddlesome advice for you. Yeah, so you don't go careening off into the yep. wrong path. Okay. If you press the start button, you can view the controls. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> She's right. This might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Kyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. If I just focus and I think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna logic dive. I'm going snowboarding. I'm going in. Logic dive. Oh my fucking god. Look at it. Look at me go! That was flipping What? Game. What a delight. Do yeah, I Yeah, accelerate. This? You're accelerating. Ooh. Look at you. Ooh. Okay. All right. This is kind of fun. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> is this it? Well, you're going to have questions eventually, okay. and you're going to have to jump gaps and things. Okay. When did the killer arrive at the beach house? After Kyoko or before Kyoko? Before Kyoko. Okay. Is that where I went? Wait. Yeah, you're going to go down the blue path. See? Okay, yeah, I see. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Before Kyoko. Let me go fast. This, this is it. This you're is going it? fast. I'm doing it. Okay, All right. Good. Yeah. All okay. done. All right, let's go a little faster. Whee. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. This is like not so bad. Yeah. Okay. Is that a is that like a jump? I just don't know. I'm not sure. Ooh. <laughs> you can try jumping it. How uh, do I jump? When did the killer leave the beach house? Uh, uh, fuck. Where? Oh, that's how I jump. It told me. When it did just, the killer leave? Sometimes it's just wrong. Uh, uh, uh. They left after Hyoko. No, before Hyoko, because then they came back. That oh, is a please. conclusion. Yeah. Please. Nope. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong path. <laughs> Apparently it's after Hyoko. <laughs> it may be that you're... you're it, we still don't know, but you could be correct, but also... That's not quite what it's asking. Okay, yeah. I understand. We'll see. I think. You're doing a jump. Right. Wow! Whee! Wow! Woo-ha! Woo! Incredible. <laughs> 
right, let's go. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just cracking ah! up every time. I'm just, what a weird, what okay. a weird game for this time. Uh, the, oh, the killer was hiding while Hyoko was unconscious. Probably the beach? No, shit. No, they were in the beach house. They would be on the roof, right? Fuck. Where was the killer hiding while Hyoko was unconscious? The beach house. Shit. I don't know. I could be wrong here. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to try. Please don't let me die. Yay, I was right. You were correct. Okay, good. It's just the framing for some of these are... Yeah, yeah. It, it's... It, we still don't know. <laughs> this doesn't confirm nor deny whether your theory is correct, no. basically. <laughs> <laughs> this, I kind of feel like I didn't learn anything <laughs> from this. Let's see what Hinata learned. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had that, that logic dive. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something <laughs> so pointless. How disappointing. Can you just imagine him being like, give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment. What if And Nekromar was like, I literally just said that. I know. <laughs> Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. <laughs> no, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm going to make a Kane bop you on the head and shut you up for good. Wow. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. Okay. The place where the killer was hiding. The place Yoko hadn't, uh, hasn't looked is... In here? Uh, I mean, she looked here. She looked in the shower room, yeah. But, uh... I mean, unless they were in the closet with her, like, because she was unconscious. Here! Yeah. I guess. The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? Then you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Oh, Hyoko they were knowing? hiding in the fucking, uh, um... Uh, sleeves for the uh, surfboards, yeah, maybe? Yeah, the surfboard boxes. Yeah. Ridiculous. That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, if the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance, I can only think of one place. That's right, the place where the killer was hiding inside the closet was... Uh, in the surfboard. Hello? Okay, there we go. Over here! Here! Mm. Yep. Wow. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it creepy. was on. Yeah, it's really creepy. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Yeah. Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Wow. Because we haven't been on this island that long. I, so the I had closet shouldn't about... have been that messy, I think. I had forgotten about the surfboard case. Mm -hmm. I remember when we found it, I was like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like, I completely forgot about it. I also don't. Then Sorry. The You're killer fine. was close to me during that time? I also don't know if we got a truth bullet from it, which may have been deliberate off uh, oh, obfuscation. I don't know. We might have. I don't remember. Huh. Yeah. Damn. They were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. I, not, not really. really. Uh -uh. Don't you mean it's always darkest under the lighthouse? What? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like so to speak. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. It's silent, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if we didn't ask. Mm. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> Uh oh, oh! You shut up. Then grit your teeth. Let Sorry, see you Akane. grit those teeth. Oh. Not like yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Monokuma, can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. 
A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. Hello? What? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. <laughs> As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Right, right. Is the killer also included? Among those three or more people? Great question. We've been asking that for a game and a half now. Yeah, <laughs> that's that literally is a really the question, good question we've been wondering about. We have been assuming no. Yeah. I, because so, the thing is, I feel like it's always until until it's defined by Monokuma, it's always in this well like um kind of timey wimey place where Monokuma can kind of decide whatever he wants yeah, at like, any given time. Yeah, like if the killer kills the person, leaves, but then comes back and is like, a body? Like, and plays it like yeah. that, then I feel like... But generally, we've been assuming that the killer does not count. Yes. Um, now, what we don't know is whether accomplices count or whether, to your point, whether a killer leaves and comes back, whether they suddenly count that time. Like, yeah, if they're playing it. Yeah, let me, let's ask. Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, uh, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because you, you've changed the rules a couple times, uh -huh. I think. Don't sound very articulate. Yeah. Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! We're playing your game. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. You're gonna leave it really ambiguous like this, aren't ya? So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Yes, yeah, so you can change the rules when you want, yeah. depending on how it plays out. Flexibility, huh? Arguably, though, that also helps what Komeda was saying, which is that by not making it a rigid rule, people can't exploit it. Yeah, and I guess that's a fair point, is that... But... But it yeah. still is a rule. The problem is it's it's not rigid, but it also is because yeah. it exists in the first place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Hmm. Jeez, fine, fine. You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Okay, so three people other than the killer discovered the body. Okay, so we know two. We know Hyoko and... Soda. Who triggered it at the end? Oh yeah, Soda. Yeah. yeah. So we need to figure out who the first person was that saw the body. Mm -hmm. That apparently was not the killer. Mm -hmm. Accomplice person. Well, that yeah. Because because the thing is, if it's three including the killer, that those are the three. Easy, clean, yeah. done. But if it doesn't include the killer, that means there's a there's an un there's a fourth person. Yeah, there's involved. a person involved. Yeah. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. No, no he, he's on. I feel like they should be able to figure out what we just said by now. Yeah. Which is like, it doesn't, we're missing a person. Yes. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However... Before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Oh, I the blood? Oh. Which now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. What about the blood? Like the blood on someone's body? Basically, whoever moved the body would have blood on them. Yeah. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? And you have you have the theory that the answer is uh, Sonia. So, yeah, is the the body suit. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's accounted for, but that's that's where they're at. Is okay. where's the blood? Okay, that makes sense. Now then, yeah. I shall explain to you the final feature in the non-stop debates. Oh boy. From this point forward, you will now be able to use the truth flashback. The what now? Yeah. If you hold down the whatever, the shape the shape of the reticle will change. 
Wait! I think that's the Y button. It's probably Y. Yeah, okay. If you aim at the remark's weak spot and keep it in that position, you'll be able to memorize- This is the grab. This is the grab and shoot. Okay. Cut. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. We, can we know this? Okay. I, yeah, I forgot that the grab and shoot hadn't been added again. Yeah, and and basically they're saying it's a grab and shoot, but remember it works both for uh, agreements and yes, exactly. contradictions. Yes, okay. Uh, you have to be able to agree with anyone while you you will not be able to agree. Okay, with anyone. so only oh. contradictions. Only contradictions. Okay. Only effective when refuting points. Okay, th okay, there you go. Good thing I didn't skip all the way. I agree. Okay, thank God. But that means I'm probably gonna have to do that here. Yep. I'm, someone's gonna bring up something. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah the shower. Definitely have yeah. to do that now. Okay. Yeah. 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 What did right. the killer do with the blood on their body? Not do it Maybe in the shower they room. Maybe simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? Correct. So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. I, mean, I guess I could have oh, gotten the water. Well, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Hello. Um, did I steal Maybe it? they wore one when they moved the can body. Can I not steal those? I don't know if you can steal a grease. Did they use something other than the shower? What did they do with the bloody oh, wetsuit? Oh, other than the shower, agree with the wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As Maybe. someone who flushes their hmm. shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Okay. We get it. Your shits are huge. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Someone other than the Maybe killer. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Hmm. If I use that person's opinion, I might be able to break through the contradiction. Okay, so. Okay, let me think about this. Um. What's the argument we're trying to make here? We're trying to see how how they would have gotten the blood off of them. My suspicion is th my suspicion is also the wetsuit. So like I want to agree with Ibuki, ideally, um, or agree with that sentiment. So what do I need to take to do that? What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Hmm. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? Right, right, right. Sorry, I just need to run the through so this one again. So washing it off mm -hmm. would have been impossible. Um, they didn't have to use the shower. Would have been impossible. Uh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Can I pull that? I'm gonna Maybe go ahead and I can't. I, I'm gonna say this just because it's if it's mechanical, other uh -huh. than the not logical. Um, it's not the wetsuits, and the only reason you know that is because you can't pull you can't... the wetsuits. You're right. If it was, if it was a, if it wasn't an agree, you could pull it and shoot it, but you can't, which means it's not the wetsuits. Yeah, that's because you're right. The logic is pull the wetsuit, shoot it at. They wouldn't have been able to wash it off or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But you can't. It wants us. It wants me to do something else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's other... a really weird way of doing it because even by presenting the wetsuits, they're acknowledging that it is a completely valid option. But. Yeah. Okay. Mechanically, I don't. It's not gonna let you do it. Other than the shower. What did they do on. with the bloody wetsuit? Um. You could just shoot. Other push. than the shower, at wouldn't have been able to wash it off. As someone who flushes their yeah, shit every morning. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Declare, that's probably the way to go. Because the choices are that the or maybe it's other than the killer. Other, maybe they were able but to. But other it than off. the killer, unfortunately, is also an agree. They're actually forcing you. It's really interesting. It's there's only me to one way to. Yeah. yeah. There's only one way to solve this. Okay. But we only know that. Because of the mechanics of the, the minigame. Yeah, and actually this makes sense because it's doing the thing where it wants you to pull uh, other than the shower so that it cycles back through and then I can shoot uh, Fee Hugo's contradiction. Yep. Okay. So it's teaching three different what things here do while also forcing you into the correct option. Yeah. The so washing it off. They didn't have which is to use the shower. Fascinating. Oh, about the yeah, this the is a weird Maybe way to present this. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it, although it is. Uh, what did they do with got the wetsuit? Got it. Other than the shower. Interesting. That's one way to do a tutorial. Yeah, this There's is a weird way to tutorial yeah. this. I can While presenting, it would I also, I mean, what toilet. it also Maybe suggests to me is around. that they are aware that there are Perhaps three ways to solve the their thing, but the there's only one right answer, and they don't know. They're, they're like, we don't know how to how to get you to the right one. So, uh huh. Here you go. Okay. All right. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. Okay. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. 
Oh shit! You're gonna have to go get it again. Nope. Oh, you no, just I shot, shot it with shower thing. room. Yep. Okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't injure me too much. What did the do with the blood on this? <sighs> okay. And the I hips. Okay, so I am gonna have to shoot that. I'm sorry. The the double the double shoot. Pull and shoot is always going to be. The joke is so far removed now. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to shoot his shit. Yeah, you have to wait Maybe long enough to shoot his shit. Use the show, so washing it off would have been impossible. Pew! Fuck you! No, okay. okay. Cool, we learned, but also Third... I guess we learned a lot of stuff there. We learned a lot from that. Third time's a charm. If they just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. Could have gone in the ocean. They could have just as easily used something else. Or, or yeah. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Something other than the shower was used to wash off the blood. It was possible. It was the the sea. sea. No. Mm -hmm. Oh right, because they would have had to walk down. Yep. Shit. Uh. Damn it! Inside the beach house. What was in there? Hold on, I I went really fast. The drinks they had, they used all yep, the water. Yep, it's the first thing That's you noticed. Right. Yep. I didn't even fucking read that. At the I bottom. know. <laughs> I just well, went because so we fast. we were having fun with the sea. <laughs> the sea? No, it was they used all the water. I even knew it wasn't the sea, but I was caught up in the energy of Damn the moment. Damn it, the sea. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? Yeah, you go into Sometimes the shower. I get a little bit caught up and trying to mislead you, <laughs> and it circles back around. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's okay. No, you're right. I that was the first thing I noticed whenever mm -hmm. we got in the into the beach house. Yeah. I've seen through it. What? Get, get out of here, Pecco. In no. theory, but that's impossible. No, it's not. What is wrong with them uh, getting all of the water bottles and just blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. in the shower? Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand. That there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Did you? Okay. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Put friends on the beach. It's trash can. We need the trash it's can. It's true. Yep. There were drinks. Whoa. In oh, the beach shit. house refrigerator. Uh, Lice. Try th one. It wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. <laughs> Duel. Oh, oh, oh. Duel her. <laughs> 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 we can't assume they used just one drink. Right. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. Exactly! <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? You're there on the middle no bat. Switch bat. I don't, were only flavored. I'm trying to get those to wash blood off. The blood will come off and it will leave it, especially if you use the water. I don't, alone I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know either. Um, sorry, I gotta, I gotta loop back through. Um, okay. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no, there were only oh, flavored drinks. That if was you it. Use those, the blood won't come off. It will leave it. That was the one I think. Especially if you used a lot. It was, it was basically you're gonna smell if you put fruit juice it? on you. Yeah. So oh, is it the first shit. one or the second one? Is it the smell or the lack of water bottles? Well, lack of water bottles in what? In the fridge? In the fridge. She's saying there weren't enough water bottles in the fridge? No, there were no when we were at the crime scene, there were no water bottles. That's in the what fridge. I think I want to say is trash can for the water cool. bottles. Okay. Gotcha. It's true there were in the beach house. However, try one bottle drink. It wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. She backed you. Oh fuck. Yeah, she you're you're kicked back to a, a stage, so you're gonna have to get oh, through it. Yeah. Oh I see. It's I true see. there were in the beach house refrigerator. However, ah. try one bottle drink. it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. Okay. I can't back down! <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Now I'm advancing. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash why. it off. I gotta be ready to shoot. <laughs> Didn't I say it was? In there were no water bottles in the river. Fuck you! To cut through those words. <laughs> there were no water bottles. Time. Yeah, that one's good. There were no water bottles in there because they were already no. used. There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Exactly. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. 
These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Uh, then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Yep. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> See? They've been leading Just this whole I trial, thought. actually. Yeah. Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? If the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that spattered onto them, that killer, Mahiru's killer, must be that person. <laughs> I'm going for it. Okay. I don't know. Mm -mm. Here we go. Wait, really? No, is it not? No. Wait, who was leading? I mean, I guess Fuyuhiko has been leading this. Nope, he certainly well, hasn't. Really. He oh, has wait. not been leading no, this I trial. No, he's been like contradicting. No, somebody from not the very moment this trial started has been leading every single point. It's actually really interesting if you know what's going on. Every single point has been directed by one single person. Hold on, let me think about it, let me think about it. I mean, Nagito has brought up a lot of stuff, but it's, he's not the one directing. Um, hold on. Let me go back. I'm gonna get things that Damn don't it. add up. Oh shit! Is that gonna injure me? Just a little Just bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess a. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do it. Who was covered in water? Who was covered in water? I don't even remember. We got a sexy pan up three separate times of the person covered in water. I guess it was Pecco who was covered in water, and she's the one that's been contradicting us. Why would you kill her? What's your... What? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right, and she's the one that's been contradicting us, especially right Every here at the end. Every plot point thus far has been Pe Pecco being like, here's why. And trying to call out Hyoko. Mm hmm. Hmm... Yeah, no, you're right. Normally Reserve Pecco has been very chatty this one. She has been very yeah. chatty, and she is the one that was covered in water. You're exactly right. Man, I kind of was hoping it'd be Sonya, though. I thought I would be... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if they hadn't forced you away from the wetsuit option, Sonya was That's absolutely... It, yeah. the, it was... I think I fixed it on the wetsuit, but the thing that was throwing me off was that the wetsuits were not a feature that I could click on yep. in the... Uh, like... In this the, honestly, in this is a I hate saying a Chekhov's gun thing, but this is sort of a situation where clearly they clearly the writers know they back themselves into a corner, which is why they used that um that specific mini game tutorial to force you away from it. Yeah. Which is yes, the wetsuits are an equal option and they were equally valid, but it wasn't. It was the water bottles. <sighs> so water bottles from the beginning. Wow. You're the only one! But I, they did do the triple sexy pan up they did <laughs> to do try the to focus sexy on it. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That is very true. Thank you. I was actually really stuck there. I I could not um, make that connection quite right. Well, it's because yeah. we have no understanding of why Pekko could have, no, that's could have really would have, should have, anything. Unless yeah. she's just coming at, unless unless she is my Sonia, where she was the one that was asked to, to carry out the murder. Um, like, and she's sparkling justice uh it's weird uh, like what well, she was also in the library with us like listening. listening in to all of that and we know that she's the ultimate swords person so thwack. yeah so she could do a big hit she could do a big hit yeah yeah because that's the other thing too i'm like who here could do a big hit other than nekomaru mm -hmm. i guess could do a big hit hey what are you being quiet for they're accusing you of being the killer then i should ask you this why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. She said she went for a swim. Yeah. 
No. Hajime and Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Hmm, we still need to figure out how she got out, in and out. Which, again, I think is through the iron bar window, but how did you fucking hardcore parkour, hardcore parkour up there? I was waiting for like, one of us to stumble on it, because it's not an easy phrase. We've been doing great with We've it. been doing really Damn well. It. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? Whoa. So maybe she really was swimming. Whoa, buddy. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I was almost there, I feel like. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, after I ran into you bastards <laughs> at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. You sound so convincing. <laughs> so, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. <laughs> Fuyuhiko. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? It's just a coincidence that I was pass that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. <laughs> I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys, and I didn't see anyone during that time. Can't keep your story straight, buddy. I didn't expect to be backed into you a corner like you this. You didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Does that mean if Fuyuhiko and Pekka were both trying to pin this on Hyoko, does that mean they both get out? Does that mean, conversely, that they're both blackened? I guess we're gonna find out about, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. And now that you mention it, you're right. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. <laughs> Pekko is. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! Hmm, <laughs> I feel like Chiaki's putting it together, too. We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Pekko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. The killer's escape route. I might know what that is. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of is that opening. The small window in the shower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see! If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well, mm -hmm. nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. Huh. Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Pekko could have reached it. B but what if, for instance, mm -hmm. she got help from someone? What if you guys boosted each other up? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Mm, also a good point. Is it possible an object was used? Oh, fuck! A rock, for instance? He's our fourth person that saw the body, but did not murder. He got her out by using his shoulders, and then was like, first body discovery. But then how does he get out of the beach house, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. Littering. The, the what? Oh, the littering. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Yep. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No. They just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! <laughs> we did? 
I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. Mm-hmm. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Mm-hmm. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? No, uh, Fuyuko had and it. If you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! <sighs> no! Please don't be violent! Oh. Even if the killer used an object to escape out of the window, they wouldn't have uh, been able to get rid of it. So the only thing that I can think of is that the killer must have hit it somewhere. If that's the case... Oh. Focus and think. The object the killer used to escape out the window. Oh, am I- am I- am I logic de- Hangman's, Hangman's Gambit? Gambit. <laughs> no! <laughs> How do I shoot again? Oh, God. Uh, M? I don't know. I don't remember how to do this one. Let's just shoot an, let's let's just shoot shoot an M and see what happens. No. Nope. Let's shoot a B and see what happens. No. Nope. S? Uh. You're, you're not uh, accepting them. You're just clearing them. Oh, the fuck. That um, B is about to hit that M. Oh, fuck again. <laughs> How do I? Okay, let's try this. Okay, no. Okay, it's not that. Let's try the B. Let's try it. Thank you. I... Okay, okay, it's a B. B. Let's try an O. Okay, no. no. I want to get this out of the way. Uh, those Bs are gonna connect. That's okay. It's not a. It's not a B, and it's not a. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try A. Okay. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> ah! No. Well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> no, you should. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, S, S. Ah! <laughs> I hate this so this much. This is amazing. Uh, okay. M. Ah! Okay. 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 Uh, a W? <laughs> okay, do you know what it is? No! Or, okay, it's, it's bamboo sword. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> 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 There's a lot of S's. <laughs> okay, get out of here. No, bring me back my O. There's two O's. Oh, ah. no. It's okay. Oh. <sighs> I need another one. A lot of S's okay. there for a moment. I need to get these out of here. Okay, S, 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 S. There's so many S's, but we're gonna get rid of some of them. And that. <laughs> and this. Nope. And ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that. Okay. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> that made it, that made it worse. Made it worse. <laughs> There's a nose. <gasps> Thank you. Okay. All right. I need an S again. Yep. And now there's not no! one to be found. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of S. this. S. Ah. 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 Okay. And a W. And a, and an O. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We need an R. We need an R. This is a really <laughs> tricky game if you don't know what they're asking of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just throwing letters ah! at you that S. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, I need an R. 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 I feel like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like lightheaded. <laughs> Okay, D. This is my favorite minigame. <laughs> okay, why not? I got it. Bamboo sword? <laughs> when does that even come it's up? It's I know back. it's on her back, I know. Pekka, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? <laughs> I want to go take a nap. <laughs> no. Admittedly, I thought it was going to say sword case and not bamboo yeah, sword, but it accomplishes the same thing. I, I think of the case first before oh I think of the bamboo God. sword. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I just hate that there, one. There was a moment where we had Bam and nothing else. <laughs> I was like, Bam, what? It was just really beautiful. That's all. <laughs> like, do you know what it is? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The 
Hangman's Gambit's just like... They're amazing. It's my favorite part of the trial. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. If I recall correctly, you had it then, too. Oh, yeah. Even... I was thinking about that. Why don't you take that swimming Despite with you? Despite the fact huh? that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Oh, Are you God. saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? But she hauled her accomplice up out of the out of the window with her. Yeah, Pecco used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see, I knew it. I knew it was a ninja. Didn't I tell you? A ninja could have climbed that easily. Okay. <laughs> Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Oh, is that That's actually very cool? Actually oh. Wow. Just like a Japanese ninja. Yep. Sonia, I feel a little bad. No. That's <laughs> 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 so hard. <laughs> <laughs> She's been nothing but helpful the whole yeah. time. <laughs> Damn. Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, yeah. it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, do you have anything to say? Now then, the time has come once again for the panic talk action. BTA. Oh, <laughs> let's talk a bit about fever time <laughs> Wait, no, and nega time. Wait, it's right, the parent teacher fever association. Time and yes. Yeah. From this point on, you will be able to use fever time by pressing the RB button. Okay. When fever time is activated, the tempo will be pushed to its max. I don't want that. But that's not all. Oh. You won't miss during fever time. I do want that. <laughs> By pressing the B button when applicable, you will destroy your opponent's verbal assault. But only until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Okay. Of course, you're not the only one who can use the who can get the upper hand. They can use that fever time? Nega time! Oh, There's a thing neg called nega time that your opponent can use too. If your opponent activates nega time. Your tempo marker will disappear, oh, yeah, making okay. it quite a bit diffi more difficult to press the button. It's like the, from the original version, yep. similar. Yep. So in this case, please time the rhythm not with your eyes, but with your ears and your passionate heart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you can, if you can't I clear it. I have one headphone in. I, I can't know. hear it all. You can put the second one in. It doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Allison, we should get you better headphones. <laughs> it recently died. Oh, no. We lost all for that. I was like, this won't come into play because I always just wear one headphone. Ear, bud. So it you're be right. Okay. Ninety percent of the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell them that they'll have to redo the class trial for the chapter if they do that. <laughs> oh. Um. Well then, good luck and have fun. I have an idea. What if we have good luck and have fun next time? <laughs> I think that's valid. <laughs> <laughs> we get to pick up with me doing PTA. I know we've had a journey, a long journey, but uh, next time you get to see floundering. <laughs> And it will be beautiful. Oh, it will be such a great I'm way so to bring excited. back the episode. I can't wait. All right. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye.